Hey guys, I'm the 50s kid. This is an E46 BMW and hopefully most of you have by now seen my catch can installation video uh, because this video is going to be like a follow-up to that. Um, basically, I, I'm not entirely happy with the, the specific catch can that I chose to install. The, 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 the cheap $15 catch can I chose uh, sucks because there is a constant smell of oil as I'm driving around, particularly on deceleration, getting off the freeway. But sometimes it's just at random. You just you just get the smell of oil coming into the cabin, and it is really really annoying. The thing is just not sealed perfectly. It is just not the thing to use uh, if you want to do a catch can style setup. However, I am happy with the fact that the oil consumption is totally gone. Um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for the results of the test that I said I would do in that previous video. You know, I still haven't got up to 500 miles. Sorry, I just, I work from home. I don't have a regular commute, so it's difficult to find the time to just do long extended drives because I'm always busy um, working on stuff. But I have put over 300 miles on it at this point and there is no oil consumption at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this that. That to me means that, you know, th that, that yes, it works. The oil consumption goes away when you have increased vacuum in the crankcase. Now, that being said, um, there is another modification that I talked about in my oil consumption video, which is known as the O2 Pilot mod. And that is where uh, you run your stock CCV system and you just uh, hook up an extra vacuum line to the little vacuum takeoff port on it and uh, thereby cause increased vacuum in the crankcase and you get the same exact result. You, you get the no oil consumption and you get to have your stock CCV system. And this is good for you know, people like me who, live in, who don't live in cold states, who don't need to re replace the stock CCV system or don't need to re-engineer it with some other kind of system. Uh, because, you know, it, I don't have any freezing temperatures, I don't get water condensation inside the thing, that's not an issue for me, so I can actually run the stock CCV system and just run some added vacuum to it. So, uh, if that is you, if, if, if you also fall into that category, this may be the type of modification you want to run on your M54 engines. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to, first, before I pull the old system off, I'm going to measure the vacuum that, is, um, that, that it is producing at the, the valve cover. So I'm just going to measure that vacuum, see how much it is at idle, and that's going to give us our baseline of, you know, how much vacuum we need to achieve with the next system that we put together. So I'll measure that vacuum, and then I'm going to reinstall the old st um, stock CCV system, and then I'm going to measure that vacuum because I've never done that. I have no idea how much vacuum the stock CCV system actually applies to the crankcase. I want to know that. We're going we're gonna to measure that in this video. And then I'm going to do the O2 pilot mod, show you how to do it. It's really, really easy. All you need is like a, probably a $2 vacuum line. And uh, then we're going to measure how much vacuum that adds to the crankcase. And we're going to see if the, those two vacuums are the same between the catch can setup and the O2 pilot mod setup. So anyway, enough babbling. Let's get started. Okay guys, I've got you zoomed in on the gauge there and I've just got this end um, on my vacuum gauge. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and stick it on. Should seal up pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like we've got 15, 16, 17, 18 inches of mercury, which is basically the, uh, the amount of vacuum that an intake manifold uh, produces at idle. So basically you've got like full vacuum being applied. So that PCV valve that we used on the catch can is actually, it's, it's very unrestrictive. It, it allows full vacuum to actually go past, but it obviously does limit the, um, the flow of air that can go through it. So it's not actually pulling the full amount of air and that way this thing isn't, you know, stalling now that I've got this off. So very interesting. So that is the amount of vacuum that is being produced by the oil catch can setup with the PCV valve that we used. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the catch can off, reinstall the OEM system. Okay guys, I'm halfway through uh, reinstalling my stock CCV system. Uh, this is my, my old hose from my stock system. It's just the normal hose. This is the cold weather version. It just has some insulation wrapped around it, which is starting to deteriorate at this point. 
Uh, this is my modified hose uh, that you might have seen in my CCV Explained video. All I did was take a brand new one, cut it, and put this uh, non-return check valve in here. It lets oil flow one way, doesn't let it flow back the other. So I'm just gonna use this with my stock system because I'm going to later use, uh, install the O2 Pilot mod, which is gonna have increased vacuum. That increased vacuum could cause oil to get sucked up in here. It's probably not enough flow uh, to uh, uh, actually have that oil get sucked back up, but I don't want to take any chances. This thing is, you know, a couple dollars on eBay or Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Okay guys, I now have the OEM CCV system reinstalled. And now we're gonna check the vacuum on that. Look at that. Almost no vacuum at all. Isn't that really surprising? That's, that's pretty shocking to me. I thought there would be some vacuum at least. I mean, it's so little that it's just, it's immeasurable. Wow. So I've left uh, everything mostly um, untightened so that I can just pull it all off again real quickly. Um, I'm gonna take us to the point of where we were in my uh, oil catch can installation video. So uh, I will refer you back to that video in order to figure out how to get to where uh, we're gonna be in the next scene. Okay guys, if you take a look down in there, right in here, right here, that's the little cap on the vacuum takeoff port. And if you have like some long needle nose pliers, you can just sort of reach in there, pull the cap off, and then use those pliers to uh, also put the new line in. Um, I think what I'm going to do for you guys to make, make the video angles a little easier, I think I'm going to pull off this um, electronics box and just kind of pull it out of the way. That might just give us a little more, you know, easy viewing angles to work with. Okay, so you can see where the little cap is right down in here. That's what we need to pull out. Needle nose pliers are the key. I'm just gonna grab it and pull it right off. So uh, there we go. Okay, now the line that we're gonna hook it to on the intake manifold is actually back behind it. It's actually right here. Now in my video, uh, my oil consumption video, I did mention that there was a big port that's capped, which is this one. There's also, if you have a 325, there's a little port that's capped. It's actually back behind here. It's where this little line is connected to. Um, on a 330, this line, which I have, is actually going down to a vacuum canister, which stores vacuum in order to operate the little exhaust flap. And uh, one of my viewers pointed out that if you go ahead and install a T into this line, you're actually going to be diminishing the vacuum that, that goes to that canister, and it's going to affect your exhaust note. So rather than do that, we're just gonna use the big line right here. We're just gonna pull this vacuum cap off. Now, all you wanna do is, you want to go to the uh, auto parts store and you just get yourself some 332nd ID line. This is probably, um, let's just say two feet, okay? So grab two feet of that and then grab some quarter inch ID line because that's going to fit right over the, uh, the smaller line. And then this line is going to plug into that big port. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to come back here install this line on the big port. I think I'm just gonna route the line like right here, just in front of everything, you know, on this side of the oil dipstick tube. So I've, I've got the oil dipstick tube in there. It's, at, it's not in its slot where it's supposed to be because it usually sits a little farther forward. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this line on this side of it and it'll just kind of go in here and get installed. And um, I don't know, I'm debating whether I even want to cut this line or not, because, you know, I've got some excess length here, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything if I just leave that length on. So I'm just going to reach down in here and slip the line on. And there we go. I got the line slipped onto the vacuum takeoff port on the oil separator. And that's it. So this is the way I ended up routing things after all. Make sure you get your, uh, the electrical connector for the disso valve. Make sure you get that behind the line. And the line ended up being uh, need needing to go behind the oil dipstick tube before I had it in front of the oil dipstick tube because I had the dipstick tube back here just kind of hanging out. So you'll just make sure, you know, I, it was a good thing to leave it long. Don't cut it 
really, really short. Just, you know, give it some length so you have some room to reposition it. Okay, guys, I've got the O2 Pilot mod all installed now. Let's go ahead and measure that vacuum. Oh, there we go. 15, 16, 17. You know, building up to 18. Between 17 and 18. So you know what? There we go. That's all we need to see, right? Well, that's all the proof that I need. This modification definitely will work. You're not going to have uh, oil consumption if you do this mod, so it's going to solve that issue uh, very nicely. Now, some of my viewers have actually told me about another thing that we can use to solve this problem. It's actually the oil separator from the E39 M5. And I'll throw a picture of it up on the screen. You can see what it looks like. It's sort of conical shaped and it's got that little downspout that uh, that funnels the oil back down to the oil dipstick tube. So I think I'm going to do another video on, you know, how to install this and just how I route the hoses with this. And then I'll do a little test and see if that one has, uh, you know, the, the same oil smell issue that I was having with uh, the catch can. Hopefully it doesn't. So uh, look for that video coming up in the future. And um, as far as this goes, uh, you know, I'm, I'm totally happy with this mod. So big thanks to O2 Pilot uh, on whatever form. It was probably E46 Fanatics. So big thanks to that guy for coming up with this solution. Um, I'm happy with it. Hope you're happy with it. Hope you liked the video. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. I'm the 50s Kid. Thanks a lot for watching.